I hope to God you come ready. Because if you don't, I'm going to beat you into living death. MMA is often called a young man's game. But now and again, a Benjamin Button comes along to defy conventional wisdom. This is a list of fighters who found success well into their 40s, from unlikely title wins or adding a cherry to their legacy. Welcome to INC, and these are five of MMA's greatest old guy moments. Dan Hendo Henderson is considered the benchmark for veteran fighters. By the time he reached his 40s, Henderson achieved all there was in MMA, winning the UFC 17 middleweight tournament and becoming Pride's first two-division champion, thanks in part to one of the most powerful punches in MMA history. That's it! Seven months after the Big 4-0, Henderson took on Rafael Fei Zhao for the Strikeforce light heavyweight title. Fei Zhao entered the fight off a knockout win over King Mo, with many feeling the Brazilian had the youth and stature to get the better of Henderson. Those critics appear justified, as Fei Zhao rocked Hendo before the Olympian used his wrestling to take control in the second. By the end of the round, momentum and conditioning was on the side of Henderson, allowing the Californian to make his move early in the third. Henderson hurt Fei Zhao with that right, and the round and pound, Henderson at the age of 40 has added the Strike Force Light Heavyweight Championship to his mantle. Henderson proved the fight wasn't a fluke, beating MMA legend Fedor Emelianenko and challenging UFC middleweight champion Michael Bisping at the age of 46 losing a hard-fought contest by unanimous decision. Mark Coleman's second UFC tenure may have been unsuccessful, but the former heavyweight champion showed he still was a force to be reckoned with. After nearly a decade in pride, Coleman made an unlikely UFC return in 2009, but a laboured loss against Shogun Hua left many feeling the hammer was no longer relevant to the sport. With his career on the line, the 45-year-old Coleman took on Stefan Bonnar at UFC 100. Bonnar's appearance on the first season of The Ultimate Fighter made him one of the sport's most popular figures, and despite a recent loss to John Jones, entered the match as a substantial favourite. Coleman's early takedown attempts were quickly thwarted, as Bonnar rained down with heavy elbows before threatening a Kimura late in the first. A missed kick from Bonner changed the complexion of the fight, allowing Coleman to show his trademark ground and pound and sap the energy of the Indiana native. From then on, the result was a foregone conclusion, as Coleman scored a takedown early in the third on his way to an unlikely unanimous decision. Coleman staying on that back! Mike. Mark Coleman! I got Coleman winning this fight! Absolutely! Wow! Coleman would fight once more in MMA, losing to Randy Couture at UFC 109, before calling time on his career with 16 wins and 10 losses. Mirko Krokops enjoyed a career turnaround in middle age. After a failed spell in the UFC, Krokop returned to MMA in 2013, where three wins from his first four fights left the former Pride champion confident he could still compete at the top level. Just short of his 41st birthday, Krokop made a one-off return to the UFC to take on Gabriel Gonzaga, who handed the Croat the biggest loss of his career eight years earlier. The fight started the same way as the first, with Gonzaga scoring a series of takedowns and using his weight advantage to wear down his famous opponent. When Gonzaga clinched Krokop at the start of the third, fans in Krakow expected more of the same before Krokop, known primarily for his striking, took a page from his opponent's book. Krokop looking to land some shots while Gonzaga's right! He's coming the end of the fight! Krokop maintained the pressure for the remainder of the fight, hammering Gonzaga with elbows before securing the most important win of his UFC tenure. Now competing with Ryzen, Krokop is currently on a nine-fight winning streak, winning his last fight by TKO earlier this year. You can't talk about old guy moments without mentioning Randy Couture. 
Any of Couture's post-40 wins would be worthy of recognition, but it's his victory over Chuck Liddell in 2003 that's arguably the most impressive. After losing his last two fights, Couture was convinced by UFC boss Dana White to drop to light heavyweight, setting an interim title match between himself and Liddell for the main event of UFC 43. Liddell was on a 10-fight winning streak and considered one of the sport's most exciting fighters and entered the fight as a minus 250 favourite over the natural. Couture would prove the doubters wrong, taking Liddell down at will and using clever striking and movement to neutralise the Iceman's offence. The next two rounds offered more of the same, a succession of counter strikes and hard takedowns that left Liddell visibly gassed and allowing Couture to make UFC history in the middle of the third round. Couture's Indian summer would continue, winning the light heavyweight and heavyweight titles, as well as becoming the oldest man to ever win a UFC fight before calling time on his career at the age of 47. This last segment belongs to MMA legend Dan Seven. Since turning 40, Seven has competed in nearly a hundred professional fights, from spells with the UFC and WEC to regional promotions in Costa Rica and Chippenham, for some reason. Seven's opponents were never the highest calibre, most being undersized regional fighters, but there were some noted exceptions. Josh Barnett earned his break beating Seven in 2000, whilst Forrest Griffin succumbed to Seven in the future Hall of Famer's first pro fight. Gotta start trying to make fun of him. You look slimmer on TV. It was like, man, you know, you, you look like, uh, an overweight, uh, what's the name, Tom Selleck. Seven owes his longevity to his wrestling-based style, avoiding career-shortening slugfests and allowing him to compete 30 times a year despite entering his 50s. In 2011, Seven scored the 100th win of his career, beating 3-3 three three Aaron Garcia at a King of the Cage event in Texas. Five months short of his 56th birthday, Seven retired from MMA, ending his career with 101 wins, 19 losses and 7 draws. And now time for a few honourable mentions. Mark Hunt became a UFC staple after entering his 40s and later fought for the company's interim heavyweight title. Ron Van Cleef became the oldest man in UFC history when he fought Hoist Gracie at UFC 4. This grandmother got lost on the way to the bingo hall and ended up in an amateur MMA fight. And full mount here for Demon and she's firing away hard. That's going to be it. The UFC immediately tried to book her versus CM Punk. This is the INC and thank you for watching. <laughs>